On the surface, I think this question seems pretty simple, but and when you start to dig into it, it actually becomes quite challenging. The question just says, suggest the type of molecule, A and B, and we are given a graph to represent the rate of uptake depending on the external concentration of these two molecules. So where do we even begin? Looking at the shape of the graph, we've got two distinct shapes. A is a proportional line, it is a linear relationship, whereas B is increasing rapidly and then plateaus. So what are we talking about here? Well, if we're talking rate of uptake, we're probably talking about diffusion or active transport. If external concentration is increasing and the rate of uptake is increasing, then we have an increase in concentration gradient. And so the, we're probably talking about facilitated diffusion or simple diffusion. We're probably not talking active transport. So we've got two molecules that are either moving by simple diffusion or facilitated diffusion. So how do we identify which one is which? Well, A, this is a linear relationship. As long as the external concentration is increasing and nothing else is a limiting factor, such as surface area or temperature, then the rate of uptake is going to increase. So A must be simple diffusion. So what type of molecule is moving by simple diffusion? It could be a small nonpolar molecule, something like oxygen. Maybe we could say carbon dioxide. Maybe we could say a fatty acid, for example. What about B? Well, B, we can see it's increasing rapidly, but then it is plateauing. It is reaching a saturation point, and that is because there are no more transport proteins available for particle B or for molecule B to move into the cell. So B must be facilitated diffusion. What type of particle, what type of molecule moves by, by facilitated diffusion? It is going to be a charged polar molecule or a larger molecule as well. So we're thinking something like glucose. Maybe we could talk about some mineral ions, maybe some sodium, some potassium, things like that. Now, when the question says suggest the type of molecule, we want to give a specific molecule. Just saying a nonpolar molecule wouldn't be enough detail to get you the mark for this question. So did you get both of those correct? Make sure you give me a follow so you can make sure you get everything correct for your summer A-levels.